Welcome to April's Lethal Challenge. This problem is called Unique Paths 2. Sorry for the lateness. I was feeling pretty sick yesterday after my second dose. Um, so better late than never. Let's go ahead and see what this problem is about. All right, so a robot is located at the top left corner of an M times N grid. This is the start. Now the robot can only move either down or right at any point. The robot is trying to reach the bottom right corner of the grid, marked finish. Now consider if some obstacles are added to the grids, these rocks, how many unique paths would there be? An obstacle in space is marked as 1 and 0 respectively in the grid. So if there's an obstacle there, we cannot cross to that path. So if you've seen the first problem for unique paths, this is fairly simple. We already know that it's going to be a DP solution. Uh, generally, how you solve this is first create a DP with the same m times n grid. And what we'll do is set the first row and first column all as ones. Because since we can only go right or down, there's only one path that we can go for these first rows and first columns. Uh, it's all going to be one. Now the exception to that is say that there was an obstacle here, um, like at here, one. If there's an obstacle here, there's no way to get to any other one of these cells past it, right? So what we'll do is first set the first row all as ones, unless there's an obstacle. If there's an obstacle, we'll just stop. Same with the first column. We'll set it all as ones. Uh, unless there's an obstacle, then we'll set it that we'll just stop our loop. Uh, after that, we're going to iterate down the rest of the cells and just add the top and the and the left cell, um, add them together, and that's going to be the number of paths. The only exception to that, if, if there's an obstacle here, then we can't update it. We can't go there anyway, so that's going to remain zero. But we have to continue that algorithm um, just in case there was some gap up on top. Uh, it is possible that even though there's an obstacle in that row or column, we might still be able to get there. So unless it's the first row or first column, we uh, will continue continue calculating that. So let's start by calculating n times m, or m, yeah, m and n. This will be, let's see, the length of grid, 0, and this would be the length of rows. Now what we'll do is first do the first row. Um, actually, we should first create a DP array, and this will be 0 for in range of number of columns n and we'll have this many for the number of rows. Now the first row for let's say column in range of however many columns there are uh, we'll say normally we just make all these equal to zero or one right uh, unless if Obstacle grid of 0, C. If this equals 1, then we should just break, break out of this loop. Otherwise, we set everything to 1, and that's, and that's that. Now let's do the first column. Uh, it's very similar, but we're going to be doing just for columns. So this would be row of M, obstacle row 0, obstacle row 0 equals 1. So same thing. Okay, finally, we're going to do the same algorithm that we normally do. It was the four row in range of 1 through m, and for columns in range of 1 through n. What we'll do is say set this dp for rc equal to dp the r minus 1, the column or the row up, plus the column to its left. Now we, we will always do this unless if obstacle grid of oops so grid of RC if this equals one, well then we just continue. Finally, all we need to do is return the DP of the last row, last column. And this should be it. Let's see if this works. Okay, so I submit that. There we go, accepted. Time complexity wise, it's going to be n times m, as well as n times m space because of our DP array. And that would be it. So it's very, very similar to unique paths one, 
uh, the only sort of caveat is these obstacles that we just set some conditional statements to skip or uh, break the loop. All right, thanks for watching my channel. Remember, do not trust me, I know nothing.